We're live from Berlin. Here today at the Brandenburg Gate, a triumphant military parade of the Allied countries is held to honor the end of World War II in Europe. It was here at the main gate of the ancient German capital that the final battles of the most devastating war in human history took place. Participating in the victory parade are columns of soldiers and military vehicles from the USSR, Great Britain, and the United States of America. The procession is led by marching soldiers and officers from the land forces that formed the Allied countries. First in the parade line is the combined regiment of the 248th Rifle Division of the Red Army. Soldiers of this regiment took the capital of Germany by storm. In the sky above the Soviet soldiers appear a parade aircraft formation. Yak-9, Yak-3, and LA-7 fighters accompany the IL-10 attack aircraft and the Tu-2S frontline bomber. Meanwhile, a combined regiment of American paratroopers from the 82nd Airborne Division begins marching towards the Brandenburg Gate. The U.S. paratroopers showed outstanding courage when storming Sicily, fighting in Italy, landing in Normandy, and securing the river of Elbe. U.S. military aircraft fly in a formation over their heads. Amongst them are Mustang and Thunderbolt fighters, the A-26B multi-purpose bomber, and the famous B-17 bombers, also known as Flying Fortresses. Now Allied ground vehicles are on the move. We see the British Daimler Mark II armored cars appearing in the alley. This light-wheeled vehicle fought some of the first battles in North Africa, those in Tunisia and Libya, and then chased the enemy to the Apennine Peninsula. After the column of wheeled machines, the latest British Comet tanks appear. These fast, maneuverable, and well-protected fighting vehicles were designed specifically to fight German heavy tanks. British military aircraft fly above the British armored vehicles. We see the defenders of Albion, the Spitfire, and Tempest fighters, accompanied by the Mosquito multipurpose aircraft and the famous Lancaster bombers. Now come the American machines, the M24 Chaffee light tank, one of the latest armored vehicles in the U.S. Army comes first. The tank was named after Major General Adna R. Chaffee Jr., the first commander of the U.S. Armored Force. This tank was designed based on the combat experience of the Western Allies in World War II. The M8 Greyhound light armored cars are next to appear in the square, the best friends of the American paratroopers. Those were the very armored cars that landed in the west of France, in Normandy, and accompanied American troops all the way to Berlin. Soviet armored giants complete the parade. The newest heavy IS-3 tanks, which just went into service in the Red Army, have entered the avenue. This tank's outstanding armor is capable of withstanding a direct hit from any enemy tank, and its powerful gun easily destroys even the most protected vehicles of the enemy. Now that this terrible war is over, the IS-3 tanks will guard the borders of the Soviet Union and protect the peace and quiet of its citizens. Happy Victory Day, dear friends. Here's to no more wars.